Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here in the start of a new campaign in the Red World in which we're playing as everyone's favorite Italian nation, the Italian Union, but it is October 1st, 2010, in which we are going to have to talk about the refugee crisis. The Libyan and Tunisian refugee crisis is crossing over the Med and into Italy's borders. It's time to recognize that a solution must be announced as soon as possible with the President's address. Congress is prepared, people are glued to the TVs, President Napolitano is speaking. Oh, civil war in Yemen. Cool. And then we get the president's address as well. And boom. All right. Reaffirm, reaffirm party rule. Humanity for all. Domestic issues. Now, foreign policy, European communism, the Soviet order, invade Yugoslavia. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Purge skeptics. United propaganda. Negotiate with the Balkans. Ooh. Assassinate the European president. I, I'm not even looking at this off screen yet. Like, I, I have no idea what this is going to be like, so... Um, that sounds like a lot of fun, even though that hurts everyone else, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Unite the EU. That's the route I want to go with. That sounds like a lot of fun. Um, restore the historic compromise. Oh, historic compromise. Power to Christian Democrats. Appease commu radical communists. Uh, false unity government. Democratic socialist prosperity. Moderate socialism. An Italian socialist international. Invite Europe. Invite the Ax Asia, not Axis. Interesting. So there's like a pan-European path you can take, or like you know, communist EU. But I want I want the EU. Time federalism, confederation, a republic, the merchant republic plan. So we can go a lot of different ways. But we're gonna go probably go this way. So to get there, we gotta reform party rule, right? Though it may be a trying time for all of us. <clears throat> we must remember that we made it through worse with the illustrious guidance of the Partito Comunista Italiano leading us on. We can rest assured that we shall weather this crisis as we weathered all previous before. And also, I let you know that. We this is on a historical, so we'll see what happens. Uh, no guarantees that anything good will happen, of course, but you never know. And Cascadia rebels, oh no, not in America, a broken, divided America, which is you know, Red World. I always get Red World and Red Flood. The the names of them all switched around and stuff in my head, but you know whatever. It is what it is. But uh, yeah, I've never played. I, I could. I might have played Italy before. I don't think I have, but we're playing this because ooh, look, a new America. But because uh, it was on my Discord server and the people recommended I play it, so hey, that's why we're here. We have a mafia issue, which is not good. We also have a ComCon member, you know, Communist members, Council for Mutual Economic Assistance, as well as the European Union member. Wow, that really hurts the political power gain. Holy crap, I didn't realize how bad being part of the EU was. Oh god, that's so much political power, that's not even funny. Um, so yeah. Je Jeb. We have Jebarinos. Papa Jeb. Oh, please clap. Okay. Former Governor of Florida, American Republic, of course. American People's Commonwealth, the President's Address. Congress has been convened in Rome for a major speech from the President himself. Cutting his vacation in Tuscany short, the head of the state is expected to address the recently declared refugee crisis, with a range of options put forward to him by the cabinet and certain state-sponsored lobbyists. As all members of Congress are seated, the Chairman of the Senate is ordered to quiet the chamber. There's only one question on everyone's mind. What the will of the President say next? Appease Catholics. Oh, I'll arrest the Communist Party. Papal rule. That sounds like a lot of fun. I have to go down that route sometime, too. Come on, National Catholics. Holy victory. Someday, but not that. Today's not that day. Force military rule. So this is a sort of compromise. Reform party rule. Party must be strengthened. Stronger religious convictions. The party. This one. Reform party rule. And humanity for all would be nice. Assimilation. Put them to work. Um, actually. Actually, you can do either one. Well. I think if we go this way to the right. I want to go down this way. Just makes sense. We go ban refugees. Get more political power. Go this open seas campaign. Well, left side go to the left side. Ban refugees. Refugees have no right to come into Italy and bring their savagery along as well. What notions of class consciousness they possess have been warped by the thug Gaddafi, and their faith is anathema to our social society. These refugees can find another place to live, just not Italy. 2010, of course. Get some better arty because you can. Better planes. Uh, we might use cast. We'll see. Cast is actually really good, and I love, love, love cast, but our trains. Because we can. And keep building yourselves up, because why not? If we're not building ourselves up to be better, what's the point? Yay. Alrighty. Reaffirm the potty rule. Ban refugees. No one likes refugees. Open seats campaign. Despite our ban on refugees, they keep coming over in their little rafts and boats. Little go raft craft. 
which sent a strong signal, sending the Navy to patrol the, med the med waters and turn back any and all riffraff trying to enter a social state illegally. No illegal immigration here in our communist utopia. Of course, then again, I, I guess, uh, you know, we're going to be trying to reunite the EU, but whatever. Or we... Just do that too. Uh, we don't have that. Our divisions kind of suck, I'll be honest. They actually really suck. Yeah, 12 combat width for normal infantry divisions? Kind of suck. 12 combat width for motorized? Actually, the support companies kind of make up for it, to be honest with you. That's not bad. Mechanized? That's not really mechanized. That's 12, and that actually has one less. So whatever, and then these armor brigades not great. I don't know. I don't want to use heavy tanks, so we're not going to. Uh, we will be using more light tanks and medium tanks combos, a mixture of them. If anything, we'll probably use um, the recon light tanks. So, but I don't want to use up too much army speed right now. Uh, if anything, God, this is gonna be so expensive to do. Just throw on some more infantry, and you know what? Do that. There you go. At least make them stronger for now. We got some drones. Twenty eight eleven is next. Get some more output. You need a very strong air force. Also, if you want to read about this stuff, please go right ahead. Like, here's all this stuff. Interesting. International Socialist Committee of 1969. And the Kim Jong-il. And the Treaty of Strasbourg in 1985. Interesting. So, ban refugees. And a lot of centrism, huh? There's a lot of paths for Italy. I like this. I love having tons of paths. Oh, man. 50-day focuses. Oh, not as bad as, you know, 70-day focuses. Good God. Still, Chomsky's caught in a scandal. Oh, that's inviting a prostitute into a sweet Chicago. <laughs> oh, wow. They were using cocaine and marijuana and stuff like that, too. Congress bans refugees. In accordance with Napolitano's, Napolitino's wishes, the National Congress passed a revised bill which bans Libyan and uh, Tunisian refugees from Italy, effective immediately. This ban will affect both those who are in the country and those hoping to come across the Med or may have already been on the way. Our Secretary of State, Matteo Renzi, states that this is essential to maintaining the cultural, social, political, and economic harmony within Italy. Clearly influenced by the nationalist faction which, within uh, President Napoli uh, Napolitano's cabinet. This faction particularly has been the most vocal against refugees, repeatedly demanded that the President ban them even without Congress's consent. Goodbye and good riddance. Um, we'll talk about the Navy just a little bit because it's really bad right now. But party unity. Our method of dealing with the refugee crisis has been effective, maybe a little bit too effective. Some members of the Communist Party have complained that our hardline stance was the antithesis to the Communist ideal. All well, brush aside the criticisms, for we must learn again to work together and strengthen the party as a whole. So right now we have like two destroyers, that's literally it. And with all this extra stuff, at least let us get some carriers? Yeah. They have no armor, which I think is a big mistake. You gotta have, you have to have a little bit of armor, they'll, they'll sink very quickly. And no, cruiser twos, not bad. Yeah. Right, that's not bad. Level three already, is surprisingly very decent. Um, instead of that one, we're gonna get anti sub stuff just in case. Torpedoes are fine. It's kind of a mixed bag, of course. That's okay. Carrier fighters, you can go with one more fighter. There you go. Right? No. Okay. Yeah, we need some carrier fighters too. It's gonna suck. It's all right. We get 0.41. Uh, we have worse 10% um, uh, civilian intelligence to others, uh, but we get more political power, which does help out. It ain't much, but it's something. Naval and Army XP? Why not? And actually, how many more days? One more day, that's fine. There you go. Hey, yeah, I'm just fourth. Nice. Foreign policy. Domestic policy. With every G crisis resolved, Giorgio Napolatino. Napolitano should be focused on foreign policy at the moment. With the fall of the Pax Sovietica, Pax Sovietica, we must take a stand in every more uncertain world. Uh, oh yeah, so Navy, we're gonna be focusing on carriers, I guess. So might as well do base strike. Yeah, port strikes, one carrier organization. Even though we're not gonna be able to make any for a long time. All we have are two destroyers. That's not much. It's very little actually. But I think you guys understand. Also, I did grab this guy too, just so we get start working some army uh, stuff. It ain't much, but it's all right. Just keep building. Just keep building. The Soviet order sounds like fun. Denounces European communism. Invest in France. Invest in Germany. Invade Yugoslavia. Request Soviet assistance. Support Algerian communists and support Moroccan communists. Nah, European communists. That's where it's at. The Soviet order and the Warsaw Pact are both dying. Communism must be readjusted to be based in the heart of Europe. The European Union holds these seeds of the socialist future. We must nurture these so that one day they will blossom into a few beautiful red rose. Yeah. 
Sounds good to me. Of course, we're going to need some more millies. Quite a few more millies. Quite a few more. Good God. I mean, our 69 for industrial base is not bad. I don't really want to get involved in this, and I probably should have earlier, but we can't. We need twin divisions, so we can't even, if we really wanted to anyways, so. Oh. There we go. And better guns, not yet. Get some more of this, too. Are we good? Foreign policy. Better trains? This piece. Takes a little bit more armor, but that's alright. Um, foreign policy's done. European communism. Nice. Recent violations, not bad. 150 more political power, yes, please. And right now, we're the Communist Party, not the Socialists. Not revolutionary socialists. Because I do want to go down this way. European president. An Italian president. Yes, please. Crush nationalists. Oh, you actually get a resource out there, too. Unite the EU. Showcase multiculturalism. Oh, is there seven, that's a 70 focus. That's nice. Negotiate with Western Europe. Form Western coalition. Negotiate with the Balkans. Ooh. Well, that helps them out. They marry. It's nice. Don't care, though. United Europe propaganda. That's not bad. No more stability. It doesn't hurt. More political power doesn't hurt either. Purge skeptics. I like that as well. We'll see how far as we can go. Domestic policy. I mean, that's what percent? Seven days. The refugee crisis revealed a surprising amount of cracks in our previous team of society. Giorgio Napoletano. Tano should be focusing on domestic policy at the moment. As we need to untangle those knots, if socialism is to be preserved. Italian workers, eh, it's not bad. Drifted communism doesn't go up at all. Parts of consumer goods which you don't like. Crush northern movements. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's not bad, yeah. Southern nationalization. That's not bad. That's, that's pretty good, too. Get southerners working again. Promote gender equality. Destroy the mafia. Ma mafia alliance. I don't want the Mafia. Promote corruption culture. Rural factories. And corruption culture. Research teams. Military. That's a proud Italian. Military, that's not bad. Um, so we also convene the council. Okay, dissolve the high council. Enforce an old guard. Well, old guard sounds like not what we want. New weaponry, new stuff. Communism will... will Lead the way. Yeah, we'll put it like that. We'll lead the way. If you want to train those divisions, that's fine with me. Um, can we go here yet? No, we need more world tension. There's only 2%, even though we had May Day already. Huh. President endorses European communism. Now what does this do? <coughs> need more stability with this one as well, which I like. Uh, at a recent meeting of the diplomats and Italian ambassadors of various nations around the world, Giorgio Napolitano has made a shocking foreign policy diversion. Instead of endorsing the Soviet order in the Warsaw Pact as common for the head of the state to do at every conference of this magnitude, he said that a new socialist axis should be created in the heart of Europe. These statements, seen as a direct endor endorsement of the Euro-Communism movement, were met with outrage from the Soviet leadership and many other governments throughout the Warsaw Pact. However, some other heads of government were intrigued by the comment, uh, comments, indicating that they could perhaps follow President Napolitano in his new path for anti-Soviet communist supremacy on the continent. Only time to have Moscow decides to retaliate with force against a rebellious ally. Interesting. Support workers. I really want to go to this one, just because I don't want to have any sort of rebellion, so the Northern Independence Movements are living perpetually blindfolded, believing that they're better off without their comrades in the South. That insolent separatism is a threat to the social fabric of our state, and to our promise of equality for all Italians. They must be silenced before their poisonous words fall on any more ears. You never know. You just really never know. Oh, wow, we have, like, no manpower, but we get 15% more output. Not bad. Anyone else here we want? House of Solomon restored. Um, ooh, Solomon Lawyer. Usually that's pretty good, but whatever. Admin Genius. Ooh, that's pretty good. No wonder he's a genius. Ooh, that's not great. Military Factory Donations plus three. What else we have? Bias Intellectual, like me. Huh. Oh, please. Political Power Game? I want as much PP as possible. Well, I've wanted more PP. I should have gone with this guy. Power hungry. Autocratics. Oh, there's a... Oh, crap. I should have went with him. It's not a real course. That would have been better, but whatever. Whatever. We're going to get as much PP as possible. Crank down national descent. Showcase multiculturalism. Multiculturalism is the foundation of an equal society. No one is inherently superior to anyone else. This is the same with the culture. As a strider closer towards European communism, we must proudly boast the house brighter once a warring continent together. I like the 35-day focuses. They're nice. 
Economic superiority. That's not bad. It's only 5% more civilian construction speed, though. This wouldn't be bad either. Five more military factories. That'd be pretty nice. I mean, don't get me wrong. We use them right now, but still. Modern automated stuff. We could do that. Railway guns would be nice. Some recon. Actually, you're ahead, so you do that one. There you go. Now, 0.54. Yeah, European Union member really sucks. Mafia issue is really not good for us either. But you know what? Whatever. It is what it is. Commercial movements. Showcase this. EU investments. Germany may be the premier economic power of Europe, but we can just as well punch the same weight class. Uh, or punch in the same weight class. Investments of the EU member states will allow Italy to consolidate its control over its allies. I do want to rush towards assassinating the European president. That sounds like fun. And get an Italian president, so. Uh, EU investment. Negotiate with Western Europe. A political alliance between the Western European Communist Parties and Italy in particular will be greatly beneficial to the cause. We need the support of the unify the European Union. Form Western Coalition. A coalition between Western Europe nations can be established to counter both the growing influence of the Soviet Union and Germany, both with different goals in mind. Alright everyone, so negotiate with the Balkans. The Balkan region is in dire need of help from another wealthy government. Negotiations can secure the loyalty of Italy and its cause in Europe, but I've already gone ahead and done southern nationalization. Unlike most other EU members, Italy has maintained some extremely limited privatization in the privatization in the South. That ends now. The remaining capitalist enterprises of the South must be brought under fund and their means of production shall be put to use for the Commonwealth. I guess Southern's uh, employed again? Or working again? Sure. But Balkan trade initiatives cause, or incentives, because we're going to just beeline through this stuff right now. Our comrades in the Balkans aren't exactly reputed for their gentleness, but our ride right totalitarianism will win the people over to the European Union. Oh, look at that. Uh, perhaps Balkan nations will be more inclined to shift towards our way of thinking if we offer them some kind of incentive. Now, in the meantime, I've already gone off screen and really started trying to make these guys 7-2s. Old system of how you did combat meta stuff and, you know, Hoi 4, but whatever. Just because I wanted to make these guys a little bulkier. Got some engineers, got some support artillery, which would be very nice. Get some recon on these guys eventually, but not yet. Um, other than that, not much else has really happened. Of course, we're negotiating with the Balkans, helping them out, giving them at least one city each. Trying to really improve our Air Force, Navy-wise. We've got four ships doubled. Well, I guess now we have two light cruisers as well. Just how I like them. You know. Real basic, real basic. Not super, super, super great, but you know, real basic. Uh, we don't have any carriers yet. How far are we with a carrier, actually? American Commonwealth has died. I'm not sure what that was, but whatever. Who cares? Right now, I'm not focused on America. Uh, by this middle of the year, we will have a carrier. Subs, uh, destroyer organization would be bad. Light cruiser stuff too. Let's go ahead and get this one. Sword efficiency stuff like that. Bulk trade initiative. And we also did grab the something record, so now I get 0.75 every single day. Next up, we're going to grab will be Admin, Risa, Admin Genius, which would be nice. Uh, United Europe Propaganda? Yeah, Propaganda's nice. Everyone should know the great future approaching them. The deeds we're about to accomplish are not seen since the days of Rome. Fitting that Italy will be once more be the one to bring our continent together, of course. It's quite fitting. Keep going, keep doing that. And we're losing fuel, but what else is new? Um, yeah, just keep training. Really, just keep training. Got some aircraft fires, which would be nice, 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 nice. I don't like Czechoslovak Social Republic without its tail and Zakapratia, Polish People's Republic. It's okay. I love how big Germany is. It's so nice. Oh, another division. Nice. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, Hans Madro, huh? You need European propaganda. Purge skeptics as well. Actually, you know what? Let's cancel that one. I'll do this one first. Because you get more political power that way. Quicker. Self-proclaimed Euro skeptics have no place in our society. Their hostility to our international ideals will only set us back and leave us vulnerable to outside hostility. They should either be set straight or move out of the way post haste. 78 factories, not bad. Of course, it's 2012. The year I graduated high school. Kurdistan communities, huh? Do we like Kurds? Depends who you ask. Basic, basic, basic medium tanks. Well... You can make some basic medium stuff here too. Radar, defensive breakthroughs, pretty much always worth it. Extra ammo storage. Can you get. That's reliability a little bit. Maybe do that one too. Can we get more reliability? Cast armor. Way more armor. Yeah, is that worth it? No, I'll see. Gas engines. It's gonna hurt our speed a little bit. We got three. Kind of expensive. Five? Six? Can we get more reliability? No? Slept armor? 92%. Uh, 99% is pretty good. Honestly, 99% is pretty good. Or you go there. 
Let me do that. Cost way higher, but whatever. Oh, well, we don't have enough of that. You know, screw it. We're not even going to do that yet. We're going to wait. As much as I want to use those tanks, it's fine to wait. Purge skeptics. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, please. 56. Not bad. The world's kind of a mess. The Middle East is a mess, but you know, what else is new? We actually do have 20 divisions, though. Can we start sending you some volunteers? We like any side here? Lebanese Republic. Uh, who are you? Syrian capitalism, nationalism. Military junta, military clique. Nationalism. I'll send you guys. I'm not going to send any actual divisions. I just want to send planes. That's all I care about. I don't think they'll have any guys there, but I could be wrong actually sending this group. See if you can do anything good. I don't know, we're not going to be nationals here. We're going to be, uh, virgin skeptics anyways. There we go. Here, we're going to grab you. Let's please, even more factories and build them even faster than possible. That's what I'd like to see. Nice. Do we have any aces? No. Good. Keep bombing them. It ain't very much. But it's what we got. 2012. Uh, artillery, 2013. Two. Well, Living Union won. Gaddafi's won on a historical. OPEC member. Com Kong Observer. Who else is at war? Oh, a lot of people are at war. Egypt, Sudanese war. Oh, well, they're almost done. I expect. Democratic Socialism, Absolute Monarchy, Social Liberalism. That's gonna another 80, huh? Uh, Storm Mall, Storm Mall. Actually, how many? No, nah, not that many. There you go. See what you can do. For fun. And then assassinate the European president. Kill him, kill him now. We'd like to see. More damage. More damage. Well, it's not cast. It, attack bombs definitely don't do as well as cast, but you know what? We'll take whatever we can get right now. Kill him. Kill him now. Gun wise, how are we doing? 40? Not bad. Definitely need some more APCs, though. So, alright. We'll get there. Four. Not bad. 0.42, 0.46. Uh, as long as other people have civil wars and we don't, it's okay with us. You should probably finish off these guys here first and then consolidate all your forces here, but you know what, whatever. That's just me talking out of my mouth. How's Yugoslavia doing, actually? Yugoslav model. Wow, that's really bad for consumer goods, but whatever. Assassinate the European president. Uh, that's all. That's just all we're doing. Uh, new world tension, though. You hear industrial concerns, kind of genericos. Yeah, pretty generic. Point six. Artillery would be nice. Offense. Yeah, get the arty guy. Italian president. Italy and Europe stand at the crossroads. The former shall lead the fight to victory. Comrade Bert Bertinotti has been a long, good, faithful comrade of ours, and so it's only natural that we give him the opportunity to spear our efforts on the European stage. Yeah, why not? Oh, no, the European president has been assassinated. President of the European Union, Francois Hollande. Oh, I remember that guy. Has been shot and killed before the expected arrival at Parliament in Brussels. While living in a ho downtown hotel, French politician and his entourage were directed to a second car down the road as unexpected construction had blocked off more than half of that avenue. This proved fatal, however, as an assassin was perched on the rooftops waiting for the perfect shot. Perhaps if Holland had left from the original location, his life may have been spared, but knowing this kind of people, that might want him dead. It only delayed his death by a few days, nevertheless. Just two shots were fired, and the president was dead before he could be admitted to a nearby hospital. This is truly a tragic day for not just the European Union, but every socialist nation across the world. Who could have seen this one coming? Oh, man. Who could have seen it coming? We did. Add the euro. Red financial institutions. Ooh. United militaries. Ooh. European army. Strength in parliament. Crush nationals. I want to go down here to get the research slot first, probably. Fair treaties. Distract the Soviets. United the militaries. One army, one air force, one navy, one Europe. Ensuring common defense will be the first step to bring our countries together. As the viability of joint governance will be proven to all of our commerce from near and far. Mil European militaries united. Sounds like fun. Still working on that too, but that's fine. Um, yeah, we don't have that much real attention, which sucks. 
export focus, which isn't necessarily too bad considering that we don't have resources, some of the resources. If we wanted anybody here, stability, solid, solid lawyer. It's not, not really worth getting. Cost goes down for ministers, but that's already too late for us. We could lose stability to get more output. I kind of don't mind that. A little bit of stability goes down. We can always get more stability later, right? No? Okay, maybe not. It's just more output. We need more. I want more. I'm, I'm very hungry for more. Because air support. Oh, that would be so nice. Ethiopia requests A, but we don't care. Capital ships. 0 0.9, 0 0.9. No, we can start doing that too. That's not, that's not bad. Oh, what are we doing over here? Up to 99. Not bad. Not bad at all. Drones are doing quite well. I wouldn't mind making at least one more. At least more in general. Yeah, now we can make some good amounts. You're almost uh, maxed out up there too. Nice. Slowly improving our army as well. I love it. Support equipment's looking okay. Light tanks are looking quite good actually. Um, I don't want to spend that much army XP on this because it just doesn't help us out that much. Go with light tanks and then throw on a medium. Oh, look at that. I'll we'll go with 18 combat width for now. What's the organization? That's pretty low. Go 20. And go and start making that division. That's not great. It's not a great tank division, but it'll be the start of something we have here. Until my parliamentarian becomes president. Oh, would you look at that? After the tragic assassination of the Francois Hollande, the European Parliament held an emergency session to discuss who would succeed him. It'd take long after a four tight uh, election contest to be held on the floor with various candidates from across the EU attacking each other on the policies and personality. From Germany to Belgium and Italy to Romania, parliamentarians attempted to present themselves as a natural successor, highlighting that either their close relationship with the previous president or perhaps trying to appease the Soviet delegation observed from afar. Nevertheless, with Italy having taken center stage in European affairs recently, parliament member Fausto Bernatoni, Bernatoni, uh, it Nati was seen as most likely to win, and he did win. By unanimous uh, vote, after six rounds, a candidate from Milan was elected president of the European Union, with its victory accepted by the Soviets, who have veto powers over anyone aiming to become the most powerful politician in the European Union, one step closer to Italian supremacy. Strength in Parliament the European Parliament must have far more control over its own institutions, rather than the Soviet Union in dominating us. What good will our communist endeavors be if a veto from Moscow is all that is needed to shoot down a good idea? Don't trade him out. 0.89, not bad. Um, fleet logistics, we'll go with probably more air. Base generation, eh. Yeah, this gives you more. Go with that guy. Still 2012. Going good. That stuff, that'll be very good to get, actually. Heavy ship holes, not a bad idea, but we're really focusing on planes. Um, actually, plane wise. These two, that one, not bad. That's actually really good to get. Um, here, you can grab that. Maybe get a better light tank as well, eventually. Get some logistics, perhaps, too. What do we have here? You cap, nice. So, we're ready for the carriers. Hey, we have seven ships. <gasps> Including a carrier, look at that. Nice. Very awesome. Not bad. Ooh. Can we meddle in more affairs? Social liberalism. Uh Islamic fundamentalism. I'm not sure if that's the one we really want to support. Uh welfare programs, secular secularism. Um, I honestly don't want to send any volunteers. I'll send, like, planes. That's pretty much it. Plenty of fighters. Ain't going to do very much until someone actually wins a war here, but whatever. 13. Cars. Eh, yeah, go get the cars. Gives a little more manpower, too. And now we get 0.89 stuff. It's not bad. Let's keep bombing the crap out of them. 3.6 is not bad. Almost 100. Nice. We do have a couple of planes fighting us here, too. Yeah, because this is for the entire Middle East, so. We're actually looking not too bad now. 44. Wow, it's going really up quite a bit every day. Nice. Do we have any aces yet? No, we don't. Darn it. I'm never focused on aces, but the European military is united. For the first time in history, the European Parliament has passed a measure without the approval of the Soviet Union. Earlier this morning, as the Soviet delegation normally presents 
a president uh, debates was on official visit to Hungary. President of the Union Fausto Bertinotti had called for an immediate convention of all members for one of the most important debates ever. Paris soon informed the Soviets of such a conversation or convention. Europeans debated for hours un while uniting Europe's individual militaries under one high command, directly controlled by the council led by the president himself. The Soviets were present, as likely many mem members would have been reluctant to support and vote yes in such a measure. But because of this absence, the debate ended quickly and the executive order was signed even quicker. A crisis is clearly brewing on this continent, as Vladimir Putin is reportedly furious that his delegation wasn't informed of the debate, and the parliament went right under their nose to make such an important decision. Could this be the end of the EU-Soviet relations forever? The Soviets are weak. Crush nationalists. These idiotic nationalists believe their state still has a right to survive within our European Union. They either feel the wind of change blowing or embrace our common future, or feel the jackboot of justice tramping down upon them. Communist coalition? Nice. Or I feel it too. Crap. Uh, well, that makes sense. Republic of Alaska. Nah. Oh. Well, whatever. Oh, okay, whatever. Libyan Union? Here we go. Keep training, I don't care. So those guys finished, and those guys finished. Wow. Oh, you guys are gone. Head on home, kiddos. Nice. Beautiful. I ne I've never ever done this. Low priority for the ships. It's fine. They're just sucking stuff up anyways. Stockpile. You know, it'd be kind of cool, you know how, I guess with the stockpile thing, like, it have, like, a total stockpile, like, set a minimum. Like, you have to have a set minimum that you want to stockpile, maybe, I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. Alright, I'm just talking out of my butt. Probably just doing that one, too. A4's not bad. Keep blowing up their planes. Alright, so now... Uh, here, you can grab this, it's fine, whatever. 150. Silent Lawyer. Yeah, get more output. I don't give it her stability, just a little bit. We'll get 5% more anyways. And we'll crush some nationals too. Three days left. Powers of Parliament strengthened. Oh. The Italian Union leaves the Warsaw Pact. Nice. <laughs> now, shocking news coming out of Brussels this morning. Reportedly, parliamentarians have acted on the President's demands and locked the Soviet delegation out of the Central Chamber. This preceded a vote on strengthening the powers of Parliament and subsequently removing the Soviet's veto powers within every debate. As the aforementioned men were removed from the power of the voting hysterics, Parliament passed a bill unanimously and officially declared the end of Soviet supremacy within their legislative body. But Fausto Bernetoni, Bert, Bert et Nati did not go so far as to condemn the Soviet Union or the Warsaw Pact. As such, any action would result in the end of the European Union. While Moscow is certainly furious at recent developments, they wouldn't dare take a direct action in a time when many European citizens support their union. But perhaps if they wait too long to force Europe into the toe in the line, it would be too late. Excellent. And Communist Coalition. As some ambitions were officially stated by President Giorgio Napolitano, no more will Europe be satisfied to live in the shadow of the Soviet Union, where we will forge our own destiny as comrades all across the continent and march together in arms. Fair treaties. I want to get the research off, but it sounds like if we do this too early, we could get, like, destroyed by these other guys, so... Just in case, we'll save. Oh, the Civil War's up. God dang it. I want more wars. I want to make Italy better. Wow, it takes forever to save, doesn't it? It's alright, though. 29 is not bad, though. Well, you can stop doing that for now. Come on. Come on home, y'all. Come fly away. That's the big people's Republic of China. Legacy of Maoism. That's not great. Japan? Save Japan. National Conservatives. Sunrise Economy, huh? I know we're out of manpower. There you go. See what you can do. All right. Uh, all weather. Well. There you go. Not a lot more world tension yet. Oh, Yugoslavia's not in the thing. Oh, huh. that's good. Democratic League. America looking like a mess. Texas is dead. Um, Union of American People's Republics. American People's Commonwealth. Union of Illinois. Oh, man, you of Illinois, good God. Steve King, Merlin Miller, Mike Levitt, Luis Beam, huh? Lincoln, Harry Mitchell, Mexico, Death Charge Throwers. Eh, it's almost 2013. Go and grab some of this stuff already, just in case. Armor personnel are lacking. We got quite a bit of anti air, which is nice, actually. 
New Euro. Even before the European Spring, there were proposals for a unified European currency. With the turmoil of the 80s long past, the revised Euro currency will be our binding our nations together last. We lose point, even way more political power. Wow. Get way better consumer goods, though. That'd be nice. Keep working on the industry. European army, not bad. Oh, tactical bombers. We're going to go there. Beautiful. Political power? We'll probably go with offense for now. Why not? I like being offensive. And we have eight ships. One carrier still. Actually, do we have any naval bombers yet? No? Darn it. We I haven't made any more millies. That makes sense. Okay, one. There we go. Could be in the council as well. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Cool. Ah, fifth just thought, thank god. He's gonna grab this too. That's fine. Actually, since you're here anyways. Logistics, war, austerity. You know, nothing says peace like railway guns. A heavy cannon mount on a railway carriage for transportation. What a beautiful thing. Oh, I love it. New Euro. Followed up with, can be in the council. The preceding years of peace have caused government to deprioritize the military. However, in these uncertain times, we need our armed forces more than ever. Italy's high council of defense should be able to restore our military's greatness. Well, we'll see about that. Oh, wait. Oh, we left the thing, yeah. Oh, boy. I'm not sure that was a good thing to do or not, but whatever. Distract the Soviets. Prepare treaties. European nationalization treaties. Do you still have it? Yeah, European army. Even though we left. Huh. <laughs> I don't think it makes that much sense, but whatever. Oh, oh there's somebody in here. Oh, that's good. Uh, then we have an air base. Not seeing one. Let's go keep going with this one first. Um. Oh, these guys have an air base here. Well, Paleo Socialism. Leninism is probably the one we really want to help out. They do have an air base there, too. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Oh, four. Nice. You really want to get really in the action as fast as you possibly can. Go right there. Probably go to limited conscription next. It's only 5% difference. That's fine. Personal guard. Yeah. This is all the high council, probably. Ships of the med. Did you get a research slot over here? No, you don't. European currency created. In desperate attempt to save their capital societies, the former members of the, state of the European community created the euro as a single currency for the entire continent. With the collapse of the most members by the end of the 1985, the currency collapsed and was officially abolished by recently established European Union of Soviet uh, Socialist Republics. Now, however, the idea uh, has been placed back on the table. Once again, the Parliament debated further measures fiercely. This time, however, the Soviet delegation made sure they were present, but unexpectedly didn't veto any bills that would restore common currency for member states. Due to this indifference to the issue, parliamentarians discussed various power proposals eagerly and finally agreed to create various European ministries that would manage the establishment of a euro spanning the Tarkani. The Soviets think this is the last of it. Red financial institutions. Financial institutions throughout Europe are directly controlled by the Soviet puppet governments. And some who rapidly took back control, lest the European Union should become a Soviet puppet, merely upscale from the previous incarna incarna incarnations. Distract the Soviets. The Soviet veto is a powerful weapon, one that was hanging surrounding over our heads. A distraction must be provided, lest they deploy. The Soviets need a scandal. That ought to distract them long enough for their final efforts to be made for binding our union together. And prepare treaties. United the European Union under one government is no simple task. Treaties need to be written and agreed by, Paul, by upon by all of our members. This process could become so much easier if we just united all of our communist parties into one. Communism transcends borders, so likewise, it'll like, do the same for a party. The High Defense Council convened. The High Council of Defense is an Italian institution of constitutional importance which controls the Italian armed forces. One of the many institutions was still carried over from the former Italian Republic. This council's members include the President, Communist Party Chairman, Secretary for Defense, and Foreign Affairs Secretary, among others. In the last year, the, the council has been convened due once due to unprecedented peace in Europe and the world. Now, however, Giorgio Napolitano has called for all members of Rome for a new meeting, one that changes the course of Italian military history forever. Welcome. But I think that's going to be it for this episode. Um, 
yeah, we got further in the next episode. Hopefully, we'll unite all of Europe into one banner and maybe even fight the USSR. But hey, you never know. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as we'll see what else we have in store for destroying the Warsaw Pact. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.